Okay, so we have the choice here, which has been created by the macro. If I go back to the macro, I can see here that wells have been created. Okay, excellent. Uh, now, if you want to check if everything is correctly welded, you can go here, use this command, display objects connected in shop, in workshop, select a member, press enter, and what is in red color means it's shop welded. Okay, so we can save the file. We can now go to ice documents and run the numbering. So different possibilities. Let's keep the default ones. Apply OK. And now I get my parts which get a number. So uh, there is another command which helps you to find what is uh, the main part of your assembly. Uh, you can mark it. Uh, you can uh, use this command, select the member, press enter. And this is the blue beam, which is the main part of the assembly. So now we want to create uh, different drawings. So we can select all of the beams, go to quick documents and use a dedicated presentation. So we can use drawing styles, but we can use also processes. Uh, we can decide to have multi drawings or just single drawings uh, with a choice of a prototype from A4 to A0. Let's use this presentation, press OK. And right now, Advanced Steel is creating the single part drawings of these elements. Now we want to have also assembly drawing. So you select the part, the main part of the assembly, go to quick documents, and you can choose assembly here. So with the choice of the format, and why not with a bill of material, use OK, and I get the assembly drawing, which is created automatically. Let's have a look at the results. We go to the document manager, details. So we have A like assembly, S like secondary part, and we can have a preview to see the result. So this has been created automatically. You see uh, all the information with this drawing, a single part drawing of all the elements. And if you want to have a look at the assembly, here we go, you have the assembly drawing. So not too bad, we can open the drawing and we can do some adjustments. So you see everything has been dimensioned automatically. Okay, label automatically. You have also a bill of material which appears here. Now, if you want to add a few dimensions, uh, you can go here and you can decide to add, for example, sloped dimension. So you just to have pick, to pick the view to say from where to, to define uh, the slope of your dimension. Okay, and after you start dimensioning. So from this point, maybe uh, this point, and I place the dimension here, maybe this point also, which can be useful. I don't know what you want to dimension exactly. You, you can go from points to points like that, and why not to the top, and you get the dimension which is created automatically. Okay, thank you, bye-bye.